Excellency President Ramos, Madam Luz Magsaysay, 1997 awardees, the Board of Trustees, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Madam Sadako Agata, the UN High Commissioner for Refugees, truly wishes that she could be here today, but because of the ongoing crisis in Central Africa, a previously agreed upon official visit to the Ukraine, she is unfortunately unable to attend this important ceremony. On her behalf, I would like to deliver the following message. Quote, I am deeply honored to receive the Magsaysay Award for International Understanding. This award means much to me, not so much because of the personal recognition it bestows, but because of the attention it brings to the cause of refugees and to my 5,500 highly dedicated colleagues in UNHCR who are often working under arduous and even perilous conditions. The Magsaysay Award reinforces and encourages us. It helps to invigorate us with the strength we need to meet the challenge of protecting and assisting nearly 23 million uprooted victims of war and persecution. The fact that this award is being given for international understanding is particularly gratifying. Understanding of the refugee problem is crucial to finding solutions. Understanding is one of the links in a chain of actions without which the problems of refugees will not be solved. That chain, as I see it, is as follows. Firstly, governments and the public at large must be made aware of the problem of refugees. Secondly, they must understand the nature of the problem, particularly its humanitarian and sometimes political dimensions. Thirdly, governments must find ways of cooperating with one another because international solidarity and burden sharing are vital for the protection of refugees and because cooperation among the countries directly affected by refugee crisis is crucial for solving them. Awareness, understanding, cooperation and solutions, these are the links in the chain. Today's world is full of contradictions, of increasing peace and economic growth on the one hand, and of conflict and human rights abuse on the other. Images of war and oppression coming close to us on the screen can be turned off at the flick of a switch. But the refugees remain asking for understanding and humanity from former Yugoslavia to Rwanda, from Guatemala to Cambodia. I have seen countless personal tragedies occasioned by man's savagery, mostly affecting families women and helpless children. And yet, these refugees are increasingly seen only as a burden and rejected at borders. UNHCR alone cannot make people aware of the world's refugee situation. The news media and the voices of the many dedicated workers in non-governmental organizations also serve to help the cause of refugees. Exceedingly important are such institutions as the Ramon Magsaysay Award Foundation, which, through recognition of the work and effort of such persons as my fellow awardees, Kun Anan, Mr. Meta, Sister Maamo, Madam Devi, give a healthy boost to our various causes. Being in such splendid company of esteemed awardees is a collective honor which I cherish. With more international understanding, we can better protect and save lives and restore human dignity. For refugee problems, however intractable they often appear to be, are solvable, provided there is cooperation and teamwork. It can be at the level of individual workers in a refugee emergency, or at the level of governments with all the power of their resources and institutions. In Asia, where the traditions of consensus run long and deep, I am proud to say that examples of international cooperation and teamwork are many. One of the finest models of institutional cooperation in the history of UNHCR is the Comprehensive Plan of Action for Indochinese Refugees, which, thanks to the joint efforts of countries of asylum, of origin, and of resettlement, resulted in over 1.1 million persons being helped to rebuild their lives. I am grateful that today, 
some 1,500 Vietnamese have been able to benefit from the generosity of the government of the Philippines. I am pleased that the Magsaysay Foundation, in granting this award, brings worldwide attention to the serious threats to the institution of asylum that are taking place. We must not give in to the forces of xenophobia. We must speak out in defense of these persons who have been uprooted by force and persecution. And we must join forces to prevent refugee crisis from occurring by insisting on the right of all our fellow human beings to live in peace in their own homes. These words are mine, but I hear in them the voice of Ramon Magsaysay and his ideal of promoting the welfare of others. I thank you, the refugees, and the displaced persons of the world. Thank you, too." Unquote. Thank you very much.